bilateral TMJ kind of issue is one of the more complicated kinds of problems that can puzzle both doctors, dentists, and also chiropractors alike. So let's have a little bit of a, a look and see what that is about. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Hanna at Clear Chiropractic here in Spokane, Washington. And what we're going to be talking about here is a, a particular issue of the jaw that will manifest and will also affect the health alignment motion stability of your upper neck. So firstly, let's talk about the, the nature of TMJ disorders. They come in all different kinds of sizes and flavors. But most of the TMJ issues that people are familiar with are going to be the kinds where you have either clicking, cracking, popping, locking, open, locking, closed, unrelenting pain right through this particular area here, manifesting as headaches, migraines, maybe even different variations of either a, a trigeminal neuralgia or also a suboccipital neuralgia, a persistent radiating pain across the back of the head. Now, with so many of these different kinds of TMJ disorders, the ones that most dentists are trained to look for are the kinds where when you're opening your mouth, number one, it's making an evident clicking, or what's happening as you open it is it goes straight sideways or does some kind of weird movement like that when you're either opening or closing your mouth. But there's an additional kind of TMJ disorder that can show up in a much trickier kind of way and oftentimes goes undiagnosed. People have all of the pain symptoms issues, but they're told that everything is just fine. Well, why is that? It's because when they open their mouth, everything seems to be going in a relatively straight line. But I want you to imagine, if you would, a duck. Okay, why are we talking about a duck? Well, a duck above the water looks perfectly calm. But below the surface is paddling all the time like this. So similarly, if you have a TMJ disorder that so happens to be not locked on one side, not locked on the other, but is actually locked on both, what it has the effect of is being shoved straight backwards. So if you would, retract your jaw. Now what that means, I'll have to show you a bit of an example here. Protraction is where you jut your bottom jaw forward as if like a, opening a bottom drawer or trying to give yourself an underbite like a bulldog. Okay, so that's protraction forward. Retraction is where you are bringing your jaw backwards. If you would, imagine that you are trying to give yourself the biggest overbite that you possibly can, something like that. What that action does, that causes your jaw to get shoved backwards on both sides. And there's cartilage on the inside of this joint, not unlike the cartilage in your knee, but much, much smaller. And the thing about it is if and when you have this bilateral compression because your bottom jaw, for whatever reason, either it has been deliberately or accidentally locked into place, you had a physical injury, things like that, What's going to happen then, it's going to compress that cartilage and irritate all of the nerves in that area. And you will demonstrate and exhibit all of the hallmark signs and symptoms that are associated with a TMJ disorder. But you're going to be told that everything is normal. Why? Because your jaw is not doing those wacky kind of movements that we just described right there. Now, there's a little bit more to this story here. And this is where the upper part of the neck comes into the equation as well. This is because the orientation of your jaw affects the position, the alignment, and the motion of your upper neck. But your upper neck also influences how well your jaw can actually move. So let me grab a, a little bit of a, a model here so that we can demonstrate. So this is if we're looking at a top-down bird's eye view from the base of your uh, skull right here, down through your spinal canal, which is where your brain, your brain stem, and your spinal cord intersect effectively. This is the front, and this is the back of your head right here, okay? When you have a jaw issue that's protracted, again, like this, what that does is that causes that upper vertebra 
to misalign forwards like this, as if your head is essentially locked down in this position here. Now, your body's not going to function very well in this way. So how does it intelligently compensate? Well, it compensates by causing your head to stick forward like this. And in these kinds of cases, you can go and you can see the chiropractor work with the physical therapist. You can work on your posture, do all the exercise stretches and rehabilitation you want. But if it is your jaw that is perpetually causing your neck to misalign, it will never stabilize. Okay, you see what I'm saying right there. You'll be perpetually having to get way more care than ideally you would like. Now, the flip of that then is also true. Let's say that your jaw is actually sitting just fine, but you've had a physical injury. You tripped, you slipped, you fell, something like that. And what it did was it actually caused that particular vertebra to miss the line forwards. And what we find is that these are, are account for about 80% of all the ways that the vertebra in the upper part of the neck can misalign. Why? Because we as human beings, this is our weak point, and we spend so much time looking down, looking forward. And of course, if we're going to trip and fall, odds are it's going to be that we're falling forwards. One way or another, if that vertebra misaligns forwards, guess what? It's going to invoke a neuromuscular reflex, which is going to cause the jaw to go backwards and compress right in this location just as well. So that kind of situation there, this is the person where they've got the dental kind of issue, but something is just not quite going as easily and smoothly as you would like to hope either. Now thus far, I've been talking about either or kind of situations. Let me ask you this as a possibility. Do you think it's possible that a person can then have both that is, they can have both a TMJ and they can have an upper neck disorder going on at the exact same time. And the unfortunate answer is yes. And what that means is it means that there is no dentist and there is no upper cervical chiropractor and there is no physical therapist either who is able to solve all of these issues all on their own. This is where instead we have to be able to work with you, the individual who is in front of us, so that we can actually identify, okay, this is not necessarily just the one thing, but this is the combination of factors that you have going on with your body that is affecting your health, that's affecting your function. And as a consequence of that, we need to all be working together on the same page to effectively unparallel park you when you've got about this much room on either side. So as we round this one up here, very important then that you've got the right people working with you on your team. Again, a lot of times you and your jaw is not going major side to side. You can still have this enigma of the bilateral compression that is where your jaw is effectively locked backwards on both sides. You need to make sure then that it is allowed to come forward through the use of whatever cranial mandibular dental appliances that would be necessary, but in addition, making sure that the neuromuscular approach with your upper cervical chiropractor and with your physical therapist is clear so that your body's going to be able to properly heal the way that it's supposed to. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do like and subscribe to our channel. It helps this video get found by all the people who need this information. Number two is if you know somebody who would benefit from watching this video, please do share it with them. And number three, if we've identified something here for you that could be useful, we'd have you reach out to our practice, which is at Clear Chiropractic in Spokane. We've got two offices, one in Mead in the north and one at South Hill in the south. Just give us a ring. We'd be happy to coordinate a special consultation to find out how we'd best be able to help you. My name is Dr. Jeffrey Hanna at Clear Chiropractic Spokane. Get well, live well, stay well.